Hey everyone, and welcome back to FSI DFS. I am McKinley412, and in this video, we're going to be breaking down the four-game early slate on DraftKings. We're going to have a separate video out for the main slate happening later in the day, so make sure to check that one out as well. And as always, hit that subscribe button, uh, hit that thumbs up button, comment down below. It really does help us out uh, at being able to continue providing all this free content, including all the early slates that go on here. Uh, so make sure you hit all those things and let's just dive right into the first game. We're going to do a game by game breakdown, just four games won't take too long. Um, and we can maybe play around with a little lineup construction at the end here. Uh, but first one, St. Louis versus Arizona, uh, pitching on the slate. I'm just going to tell you now it's awful. There's no, the highest strikeout rate is at 20%. And if you had a large slate and the pitcher was at 20%, you would just kind of cross them off. Wouldn't even bother. Uh, but Kim here at 9.6K, I gave an audible chuckle when I opened up the slate and saw this price for him. Just don't do it. It's way too expensive. Spend your money elsewhere on better bats. Um, it's just this is disgusting. 9.6K, there's no reason he should be that high at all. Um, and Smith, I don't have any interest in here either. So none of the pitchers from this game. As far as the hitters, uh, let's look at the St. Louis side first. Uh, my favorite uh, point per dollar, I think, play would be Carlson here. Um, Smith, I mean, he's a even splits pitcher. It doesn't matter, righties or lefties uh, for St. Louis. Uh, but Carlson, I think, provides the best bang for your buck. Uh, he can be up at the top of the lineup, projected, obviously. Uh, but 3.6K, he's been hitting the ball very well as of late. So he's my favorite uh, point per dollar play on St. Louis here. Uh, the other, I wish they had more lefties, um, but Edmund, he's the other switch hitter. He's gone a couple of games here without a hit. He's really struggling to swing the bat. Uh, but, you know, he still is able to provide you some other things like uh, stolen bases and, and give you those kind of points if he's taking it on base. But I do like the St. Louis bats here just because uh, Arizona in the month of June, their bullpen, and it could be a bullpen game. Smith, I don't expect to go longer than three or four innings. Uh, so it's going to be a lot of the relief pitchers for Arizona. And the Arizona bullpen was dead last in ERA in the month of June. They had an ERA over six. Uh, so they're not able to stop anybody. These St. Louis bats, while they can struggle, we know that they also can pop off. Uh, with a lot of power, stolen bases, hits, all of that. So I do like the Arizona side here. Carlson's my number one. But even guys like Aaron Nato, Goldschmidt, uh, O'Neill, you can plug them into your lineup. They're not going to break the bank here at all, uh, especially because we're not going to be paying too much at pitcher. Uh, it's pretty gross here. So that's St. Louis. Arizona, Kim. He's the top price pitcher on the slate, but he struggles, uh, especially against right-handed hitters. He allows a 294 average, a, a batting average against right-handed pitchers or hitters. Sorry. Uh, so the righties on Arizona are my interest. Guys like Lo Castro, guys like Escobar here. Walker, I mentioned Carlson's my favorite point per dollar on St. Louis. Walker's probably my favorite on Arizona. 2.9K is probably batting up in the cleanup spot. A uh, nice righty-lefty matchup, and we know what he's capable of. Um, we we kind of saw it in spring training, and just I like him. I like him. I think he's a great play here. Uh, so Arizona righties, St. Louis, both sides of the plate. Moving on to our next game, uh, Chicago versus Milwaukee. Arietta, it says Suter here, but I, I haven't seen anybody. It's still to be determined on MLB.com and uh, Baseball Savant and on the MLB app. I haven't been able to locate who's starting for Milwaukee, but it could be another bullpen game for Milwaukee, just like it was with Arizona. Um, Arietta, let's talk about Arietta pitchers first. Um, Arietta used to be a ground ball pitcher. He used to have a ground ball rate uh, that was close to the top of the league, uh, but that's just really fallen off uh, this season. His ground ball rate has gone down to 42%, and his fly ball rate has skyrocketed all the way up to 34%. Uh, so a double-digit swing in both directions. Um, so Milwaukee can struggle, though, uh, against right-handed pitching. They just strike out a lot. So if you do want to uh, kind of target some strikeouts on this slate or a possibility of strikeouts, I think Arietta could be a decent chance. 
um, even splits uh, with him. So, you know, both sides of the plate for Milwaukee. This might be the game that I am least interested in, in the bats. Um, Milwaukee going up against Ar- Arietta, while Arietta has struggled, you know, they, they struggle against right-handed pitching. And then Chicago going up against a Milwaukee bullpen. Like I said, I think it's going to be more of a bullpen relief pitching game for them. They're the opposite of Arizona. Uh, Milwaukee was a top three bullpen in June. Uh, their ERA was 2.89. So pretty impressive. Pretty impressive. So I, I, I think this is the game that I'm least interested in in the bats. Um, Arietta is probably a top three pitcher uh, on the slate for me here. But let's go to the next game, Colorado versus Pittsburgh. John Gray, I think John Gray might be my favorite play. <laughs> it's, it's, it's tough to say that. Uh, a pitcher in Coors, the over-under for this game is 11 and a half right now. Uh, and Colorado isn't the largest favorite. But John Gray, you know, he has pitched well at home this season. I mean, 15.3 points, it's not great, uh, especially at 7.9K. But again, pitching on this late is kind of how to throw everything out the window. Uh, but Gray, you know, he has done well. He has the highest strikeout rate of any pitcher on this slate here. Uh, he has a nice ceiling. I think he has the highest ceiling of anybody on this slate. But again, he has, uh, he's in Coors Field. The floor is the basement for the, for this kind of matchup uh, in Coors. He faced Pittsburgh in Pittsburgh uh, earlier or last month. Didn't go so well. Um, so I don't know. I don't know. I, I think he's still probably my favorite pitcher just because of the upside that he can provide uh, going up against a weaker Pittsburgh offense. Uh, so I, I do like John Gray here. Chad Cool, no thank you. Um, so bats wise, Colorado, I like the Colorado lefties. Um, so Colorado lefties would be guys like Blackman, McMahon, uh, Tapia, and even Daza, I know Daza is a right-handed pitcher, uh, but he bats at the top, near the top of the order. He's 3.4K, and honestly, he hits righties very well. He's hitting over 300 against right-handed pitching this season, so I think he's in a, he's in a great spot uh, to do some salary relief. Uh, Gamble, uh, where did he go? Oh, did they price him up? He was min. Oh, he's on Pittsburgh. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Well, hey, let's talk about the Pittsburgh bats real quick here. Uh, Gamble. Okay, he's two point two. He was at the top of the order here, um, or number three for Pittsburgh in Coors, two point two K. He's got the nice lefty righty matchup. Uh, I think he's going to be in a great spot for any salary relief that you might need. Uh, I don't think you're going to need too much of it, uh, but. Definitely there. Um, Guys like Frazier. Frazier's numbers against right-handed pitching are insane. Uh, He's hitting 345 against right-handed pitching this season. In the past month, he's hitting over 400 against right-handed pitching. So if I'm going with the Pittsburgh stack, I want to make sure I got Frazier in there. Uh, Gamble, Polanco, Hayes. um, Those are are kind of the four guys that stick out to me for Pittsburgh. Like I said, for Colorado – I like the lefties. You can pretty much put anybody in there, and, and you're going to be doing well against Cool here. Uh, final game of the night, Tampa Bay versus Washington. Lester versus, it says Waka. It's going to be Rasmussen. Uh, Waka's going to be pitching a long relief. Rasmussen's going to be the opener, uh, but he's probably only going to go one, maybe, maybe two innings. Uh, and Waka's probably going to get that three to four inning range. Lester, uh, major splits on Lester, uh, hitting wise, but as a pitcher, I'd like Ar- uh, Arietta better than Lester, and I like Gray better than Lester. Um, but you know, I think he's probably top three. I like him better than Kim. Um, as for Waka, not interested at all. Uh, but looking at the bats, I did mention that Lester has some crazy. Uh, lefty righty splits lefties are only hitting 188 against him righties are hitting 317 so i want to make sure I'm, we're targeting those tampa bay righties 
uh, guys like Franco, Rosarena, Margot, Brasso. I mean, they got a lot of righties in their uh, in their lineup, um, and a lot of righties that have some decent power. It's going to be hot in Washington tomorrow. I think I saw the temperature uh, was going to be close to 90 again. It's going to be humid, uh, and that's perfect conditions for the ball to start flying. So I do like the Tampa Bay righties. Um, as for Washington, it's going to be the lefties, guys like. Uh, Schwarber can Schwarber keep up this just I don't I don't even know what to call it I, I haven't seen somebody hit this many home runs in such a short amount of time just out of the blue um, so guys like Schwarber guys like Bell guys like Soto uh, I think are all in great spots as well but one concern I do have with Washington is you know aside from Waka He's probably going to go like three, maybe four innings. It's going to be a lot of the Tampa Bay bullpen. And that Tampa Bay bullpen is pretty solid. So it is slightly concerning, but I, I think the weather conditions and getting a third or half a game of Waka, uh, I think they're in a nice spot as well. So, again, looking at the pitchers here, just kind of sum everything up. Pitchers, I prefer these three the most, Lester, Arietta, and Gray. I would probably go Gray than Arietta than Lester, or maybe Arietta than Gray than Lester. Um, I don't know, but maybe after I sleep on it, it'll change around. But it's probably these three uh, that you're going to be putting into your lineup. Colorado, my favorite uh, team of the day. Then probably the St. Louis, and then Tampa Bay um, righties. Washington lefties, Arizona is a nice uh, GPP play. Not really too interested in the Chicago Milwaukee bats uh, and Pittsburgh, um, Pittsburgh lefties. So, or even cheap guys, guys like Gamble, Polanco, Hayes, and who's the other guy missing? Frazier. Make sure you get Frazier in there as well if you go with Pittsburgh. So, that kind of wraps things up. Um, I, I don't think salary is going to be too much of an issue for you guys here. So like if I plug in Ariad and I plug in Gray, um, I, would, I don't know. I said Carlson for St. Louis was a nice point per dollar play. Uh, you plug in Gamel from Pittsburgh. He's at 2.2K. Make sure, he's, make sure all these guys are starting, obviously. Um, but, you know, Tapia, I like Blackman. Um, Glenn's a nice spot. So, I mean, we're still looking at 4.5K remaining here uh, for the rest of your bats. You, you, if you, even if you take out one of the cheaper guys, take out Gamel, um, and you throw in a guy like Schwarber, obviously it's going to hurt you a bit, but you're still 3.8K. I, I don't think salary is going to be an issue for you here at all. Uh, so, as always, uh, good luck in your contest. Make sure to check out that other main slate video we have later um, for the main slate happening later tonight. Um, hit that subscribe button, thumbs up, comment down below, uh, and good luck in your contest, and we'll see you in the next video.